Hello everyone, today I want to share with you Wild Mech Hunter deck. This is a fast paced aggro deck that attempts to overwhelm its opponents with a large board of mech minions. Galvanizer and the Mech Warper allow you to quickly play out a whole hand of mechs, giving Metal Tooth Leaper a board full of pots to buff. Jeeves is one of the key cards here, allowing us to draw great amount of cards. Drawing is also reinforced by the new Ursatron from the Rise of Shadows. For your opening hand, two most important cards are Galvanizer and Mech Warper, but you also want Mecharu and the Metal Tooth Leaper. And with all of that said, let's play the game! Alright, here we go! Where the opponent found! Time for some mech action. And as you can see, the rank is pretty decent, rank 2. I am very confident in this deck, so that's the reason I can play it here. And the starting hand looks very nice. We have both Galvanizer and the Mech Warper, exactly what you want. To start up the discount. Ursatron to draw yet another mech from the deck. Okay, I think I should use the coin immediately. And that allows me to play Galvanizer. Let's play then Mecharu and Fateful Lumi. Okay, so our field is pretty strong and we are playing against the aggressive deck as well, so it's important to be fast here. Let's see what we can do. If I play Mech Warper, that means I can also play Ursatron. Yes looks good so there we go another ursa waiting there at this point i can maybe just go for the face ignore the hench clan tag all yes i think so and i will play the shredder there we go I might uh, kill the tug next turn. We will see how it goes, but for now we have more damage on the field. And he will start trading actually. Yeah, okay. So that means Ursa can be used to draw a card there, replicating mana strong. Let's for now play another Ursa and Faithful Lumi on, for example, Galvanizer. Okay, cool. Cool, he's only 13 health and we have lots of damage and this magnetic he is basically a charge right now, so it looks good. Let's see what his moves are going to be. Okay, so Deadly Poison and SI Agent. And that's it, we will win this game. There we go. Great. All right, the second game is ready. This time we are playing against Hunter. Okay, so let's see our starting hand. Well, that's not exactly what we should look for. So let's reroll everything. Okay, let's hope for better starting hand 
Galvanizer, Mechwarper, amazing. That's really good. We have the coin, we are going second. He didn't play anything. Okay, so just as the last game. Galvanizer first. So, there we go. Very nice start there. He will play same things. He will. Okay, so now time for the Mech Warper. That allows me to play Ursatron, but as well I can play Venomizer. Okay, so. Okay, this is amazing. We have Explodinator left in the hand. He has really good starting hand as well. Here it comes, the Mech Warper and the stuff. Everything, yeah, he is good. Okay, let's see what we should do. Okay, we need to kill Mech Warper. That's the best idea, so we need 3 damage there. Okay, I have to think about it. Do I protect uh, Mech Warper as well with Anoyo? Play Anoyo as well, then not Explodinator. Okay, so um, and let's play Anoya. That will protect the Mac Warper, who is the most important card. We have done a nice trading there didn't really expect to see same deck to play against the same deck really let's see what we can do here i can play another mech warper and now now i can maybe kill ursatron Maybe to draw another mech from the deck, that will be a spider bomb. Okay, so... Let's see what he gets from the raven. I can play Explodinator. And... Let's see, let's just attack the face with remaining stuff, okay. It was a little bit of, of a confusing turn, lots of things to do, but it's all good. Let's see what we can do here, we're gonna play uh, Spider Bomb and the Mecha Roo. I should use a magnetic on one on the of the bombs so they can also attack. Okay, let's just trade a little bit. Okay, and it now I can just go for the face, he has 10 health, we have 28, that's really cool. And it is done, we won this game as well, great, amazing. Alright, third game is ready, this deck is pretty fast, so the games are done maybe even before five or six mana okay so as usual let's 
see if we can get the galvanizers and mech warpers but not this time it seems okay we are playing against the priest we have nothing to play this time that's unfortunate let's play annoyo next turn here comes the mech warper though now we do have him but even if I drop it now, I cannot play anything else, so let's just maybe play it next turn. Shadow Visions, okay. So we still don't know what kind of deck we are up against. Lots of... Big Priests around though, so... I will not be surprised if this one is exactly that. Okay, so he has a coin, so maybe Barnes coming? No, Shadow World Horror. Yes, okay, that's nasty. Let's just play Explodinator. Our start is much worse than the last two games. War gear. Let's play war gear. And make one of the bombs able to attack as well. Basically, magnetic is a charge. It's really strong. Excavated evil. Okay, and I just drew it. Well, that's unlucky. Now that's unlucky. Okay, so I think I can play Mech Warper with the Ursa and the Hero Power. There we go, he has 13 health. Now this card really messed the, our draw. That's quite unfortunate. We have one Spider Bomb if he plays a huge minion. We can maybe get rid of it with the spider bomb. For now, just a greater healing potion there. Okay. Metal Tooth Leaper. Now that's a strong card. That is indeed a strong card. Just gonna play it. Nine health, but probably he just gonna play the psychic scream now. That's too bad we didn't get to kill our Ursa and get a card from him. Yeah. Okay, let's just play ex excavated evil first. Mekaru and the hero power. That turn wasn't really ideal. Was thinking about killing my minions with the excavated evil myself. And get a card out of Ursatron. So Shadow Essence is gonna be played twice. That's really strong. But uh, I have to say, you don't really want to get Barnes out with the Shadow Essence. Okay, maybe time for the Spider Bomb as well. Let's just attack. And... Too bad, we were so close, but getting that... Excavated Evil... Immediately after he played it, was so unlucky. That's, that was basically one last draw for us. Oh no, the bomb didn't kill Vargot. Damn it. But at this point we are probably just done. Unfortunately we were very close.
maybe if we get Jeeves soon, but let's see. Resurrect. Yeah, this is now over. Okay, cool. Just see what Vargot going to do and another barns and another barns. Okay, cool. Let's concede. Alright guys, I hope you liked the video, I hope it was fun and informative, give Wild Mech Hunter deck a try, it's a really fast deck and also very cheap, stay tuned for more Hearthstone content, thanks for watching and see you soon.